With just a single click, I can migrate from here to Miami Beach, to Mecca, to Jerusalem, to Taj Mahamas, to the Great Wall of China, and of course, to Burj Khalifa in Dubai. And guess what? All of these movements are done while I'm still sitting right here. And what is this called? The magic name is Green Screen. If you can just stick around for a moment, I'll be showing you a exactly step-by-step tutorial on how I actually make Hollywood standard green screen effect. Just sitting down right in my room with my laptop and I'm going to show you exactly how I do make that. But wait a moment, before we dive into all of this practical guide and setup, wouldn't you like to know some of the requirements I've been using to craft that homemade green screen and making it a Hollywood standard? And as a matter of fact, the entire setup didn't cost me up to $10. So just stick with me while I show you exactly how it is done. First of all, you need a green plain cloth. Measure your background to be sure of the required size. Secondly, you need light. It's not compulsory to have all this fancy and expensive light. Even a outdoor halogen light can get the job done without compromising your video quality. Ensure that the light are positioned in such a way that it reflects on your green screen. Then lastly, set up your phone or camera to see the beauty of your imagination. Once you shoot the video and you are satisfied with it, next thing is to dive into editing. Now let's dive into Fimura while I show you exactly how I usually remove my green screen background and giving it that Hollywood standard effect. So today we'll be using Fimura 9 and if you don't know how to use Fimura 9 or you haven't downloaded it on your system, I would advise that you go to uh, getintopc.com to get it, okay? So the first thing we need to do right now is to create a new project on Fimura 9. So once you create a new project, then inside this place you need to import your video so this is our video file and i will be uh, dragging it right to my Fimura 9 okay now the video will be imported so you just have to take some time depending on how large or heavy it is okay or how the quality of the video so the next thing you need to do right now is to drag the video to your timeline now when you drag it to the timeline they will be asking you that do you want to ma maintain the uh the ratio of the uh timeline of the video dimension and code so just say keep project setting so once you say keep project setting here is the video as you can see i'm sitting right here having just a green screen behind my back so how did i change this green screen to something that is more spectacular something that all of you have been saying since i started this video so i'll be showing you right now so on this uh, background on this timeline the first thing you need to do right now is to right click then once you right click you click on green screen okay so it's just as simple as that and right now it's showing black okay the reason why it's showing black is because it's now transparent but we don't know whether we have done a good job until we put something behind it okay so let's look for a picture that we can actually you know put behind it okay so i um, like uh, a very nice picture okay let me put this picture of uh, the great wall of china okay all right all right so let's have the picture here just drag it to the timeline okay now um i would prefer yeah the video to be at the top and the great wall of china behind it so just drag the great wall of china here and uh, my picture is at the top so for the great wall of china to fill in very well as you can see there are some other space here so you need to uh click on it and click on uh, crop then change this original size to 16 ratio 9 which is the dimension of the video all right now as you can see it has moved better all right now let's go back to our green screen setting and adjust this green screen to look more real because as you can see it's a kind of fading so to make that happen we need to adjust this offset to 10 i usually adjust my own to 10 you can adjust it to 15 but when you adjust it to 15 or anything above you notice that my head is kind of you know in transparency mode it's uh, gradually transparency so i wouldn't like that so i would like to 
just set it in 10 okay so the next thing i would like to do is uh to do the edge thickness okay increase the edge thickness so that my edge can be you can just increase it to 0 0.000 all right then as for the feathering you can just reduce the feathering okay uh, and once you do that now let's see what we have here so just like you see i just change the background of my video okay and we can always change the background of our videos uh with any kind of background at all like i can just look for another image all right let's look for another image and uh, uh put it there all right <laughs> let me use the image of my studio okay i won't use that let's use another image entirely so that it won't be like oh i've been using the image of my studio all right so i'm deleting this and i'm putting this so and once i put this as you can see i just found myself in a new studio um most people will be asking me why didn't i use this studio where well, i like things to be very simple the studio is too is too you know busy with so many things and i don't like it that's why i chose the other studio i was using so but if you want me to migrate to this studio don't worry it doesn't cost a dime you just need a single click so once you are done just click export and that's it it's one thing to get that perfect shot is another thing to get that tuning editing and if you are thinking about some other ways you can actually remove your background without spending a dime on green screen or light or expensive cameras then the video that's going to pop up next to me will show you exactly how it is done right now the video is going to come up next week so you have to subscribe to this channel to stay tuned whatever you do never stop making money